What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. As you guys know, I have behind me my beautiful BMW 440,000. You guys know that I love this car, man. And in today's video, you guys, we're gonna be pretty much talking about how much do I pay for this car every month? How much did I pay for it? And um, like how much I put down and all of that craziness. So as I take you guys on a little drive, we're gonna go and talk about all those things so you guys are know how much I pay for it. It was a little bit expensive, I ain't gonna lie. But now it's not too bad. Let's get into the car, go on a little drive, and talk about it some more. All right, let's go ahead and start it up. It's been up for a whole day now. Yes, sir. We actually got a couple more things, guys. Um, I ordered it today. I got a couple things that, you know, I'm gonna be showing you guys once they arrive. But, um, yeah, I'm just waiting for those. Um, car, waiting for the car to warm up a little bit. And then we should be good to go, man. All right, you guys, <clears throat> what is going on? We are here. It's just getting a little dark already. Um, it's at seven. So what time is it right now? Seven twenty. Yeah, it's getting a little dark. Usually it starts getting dark at seven. It is spring though, so we are witnessing a lot. You know, of a better, 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 better. We are witnessing a lot of a better freak i don't know how to speak better better i don't know why it sounds so funny better weather weather oh my god i don't know how to speak english we are witnessing better weather so um it's not too bad like i'm outside with a long sleeve i don't even have a sweater on and so that that's good news right there man so yeah but let's pretty much go ahead and talk about why you guys are here i know a lot of you guys are looking into getting a bmw 440 whether it's a 440 435 340 330 um this will pretty much relate to you in some sort of way um so yeah let's get right into the video so guys i as you guys know i have a 2018 hatchback bmw 440 um it's an x drive uh pretty much has everything you want the only thing that this car doesn't have is obviously the red gut seats and the harman carbon i thought that that was like a basic thing on bmws but my car doesn't have that but my boy has it and i played music in his car and i played music in my car the difference is not noticeable at all so honestly you know i save a couple bucks with that but um I was looking for a BMW for the longest time, guys. Like, you know, I've been looking for a BMW for a long time and knowing me, if the car doesn't have or is not how I want it, um, I don't get desperate and I pretty much just keep waiting, keep searching and just, you know, and wait for the best for me. So I was able to find this car. I had, when I first got the car, I had like 40,000 miles on it and um, like 40, 44 something like that nothing too crazy and it was in great condition like nothing was wrong with it um i did notice though when i bought the car that i had a crack like a, a crack windshield but the dealer went ahead and repaired it right after i bought it or yeah like a couple of days later they told me to bring the car in because they had to order the part the the glass and so i brought it in they fixed it for free everything everything was good and then we should be we was good after that how much did this car cost me when i was looking it up online because i first saw it online and i saw that it was at a dealer by me and i was like oh shoot that's perfect um on the online it was saying thirty three thousand dollars guys that's how much the car was saying online and i was like okay i could look at the pictures everything was looking good and so i decided to call contact the dealer and let them know that i wanted to come and see the car so the same day that the car got there i went i made an appointment i went and looked at the car talked to the guys see you know how much you're willing to you know do it for whatever whatever and um yeah Tess drove the car fell in love with it i was like yeah i have to have this car like asap like i probably didn't even have the money for it really honestly but i was like yo if somebody comes and takes this car i'm gonna be heartbroken and so um yeah i, I did a couple things man and i pretty much got the money for it and so that's how i got the car but how much did i get it actually for i got it for thirty-five thousand dollars 
that's how much after all the fees, all the whatever fees that they be putting on there, man. You got to be careful when you're buying a car, bro, because they be having hella different fees and hidden fees that, you know, you probably didn't even know about that just randomly come up. And if you're not, you know, cautious and know your things, bro, they will scam you, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. They will scam you a couple thousand dollars and you wouldn't even realize it. You know what I'm saying? The price did go up a little bit more. But that's because I added warranty on it. I honestly don't know what that warranty is even good for because I haven't used zero warranty. Anything that has happened to this car, it came out of my pocket. I don't really know how that warranty stuff even works, to be honest. So $35,000, that's how much it came out to. I personally put a $7,000 deposit cash. And the main reason is, guys, like it was my first big purchase so if i wanted my monthly payment to be lower than what it was i needed to put a little bit more on the down deposit you feel me so if you have a good credit and you know you know your credit history is good and on-time payments and all that stuff is good you know for you you might have you might you know you might not even need to put any down like any money down you feel me but me first purchase big purchase you know the bank wasn't gonna give me as much as they were saying, so like I needed to put some money down for me to even be get approved for this car. So I put seven thousand down, and at that time my monthly payment was looking like eight hundred dollars, guys. Eight hundred dollars um, for I believe thirty something months. I don't even know thirty. Is it what is it thirty six months? Whatever that number is, something like that. You know what I'm saying? So that's how much it was looking for, like. And the insurance was looking extremely expensive under my name. So what I ended up doing with that was that, you know, I had to put my mom under the car as well. That way I can add this car into her insurance because the insurance for me by myself was looking like too, 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 too high. They were asking for like $600, bro. $600 of insurance alone. Like $600 is pretty much a brand new like lease, bro. You know what I'm saying? So paying that under, for insurance, is, there's a lot of traffic, but paying that just for insurance is just way too much money. I was like, nah, I cannot do 600. They were like, oh, so how much can you do? I was like, bro, I'm looking for max like 300. You know what I'm saying? Like I got to do 300. You feel me? But, um, we ended up, you know, working it with my mom, and so my insurance went down to like 260, bro. So that's a good thing about having, you know, you you better be cool with your parents. You know what I'm saying? If you're cool with your parents, they might let you put the car under their name or whatever, and um, that way you can put the car under their insurance, and that way all your payments will be lower. You feel me? So I ended up doing that. So we were looking at like 800 for a car, and then uh, two. 260 for insurance i don't know the total my math is off right now but that's how much it was looking like the good thing is that like uh the guy at the dealer was telling me oh this is good though because since this is your big your first big purchase you can always refinance the car after i believe it's six months three six months something like that i think it's six months though after six months you can refinance the car one your uh your interest is gonna go down a lot and your payment, your monthly payment is gonna go down a lot too. So I was like, you know what, it's okay. Let me struggle. What's, what happened here? Hold on, I need to cross. Somebody crashed or something? Oh, I think there was some sort of accident here. But yeah, they were like, oh, you can refinance after six months. Your payments are gonna go down a lot. Your interest is gonna go down a lot. And so that's what I looked at. You know, that's what I was looking at when I did it. I was like, okay, if I struggle for a few, it's fine because it's gonna help me out in the long run. So now, once I finish paying this car, I could pretty much get any car. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because my credit is good. Um, I'm pretty much always on top of my credit and all that stuff. So my credit is good um, After the six months I refinanced the car the insurance usually goes down every month You know depending on if you have any accidents and all that stuff I also did the defensive driving course which reduces your uh, insurance also if you're in school that reduces it as well and um, Also the fact that I've been driving for I don't even know seven years now uh, Helped a little bit as well. And so yeah but when I refinanced it, guys, uh, 
My first quote, I think I had like a 14% interest. As soon as I refinanced it, it went down to 3%. That's a big jump, especially when you're doing car payments, 3%, which means that every monthly payment that I was doing to the car was helping my, uh, was going more towards the car instead of interest, bro. Cause you know how interest works. If you don't know, man, the higher that percentage is, man, the more money they take into that interest, which means the longer it's actually gonna take you to pay that debt down so three percent was was good for me um and so i was making you know a good amount of payments you know what i'm saying like i wasn't paying the minimum ever i always put a, i always put a lot more than what they were asking so that you know helps out with your credit as well that they see that you're putting more than what they asked for you never put the minimum so that helped me out a lot and then i got my payments down once i refinanced and i paid a lot of my debt down they uh i refinanced to 500 dollars a month so i think it was like four 490 i think for the car just for the car loan i was paying once i refinanced i was paying 490 dollars a month and also my insurance went down 60 dollars after all that time um so i'm was paying then two hundred dollars a month. Actually, that's what I'm paying right now. To be honest, I'm still paying the four ninety, but I pay like five hundred. I pay five hundred dollars a month in car, and then I pay two hundred dollars in insurance. So that brings my total to seven hundred dollars a month to own my beautiful twenty eighteen for forty thousand. You know what I'm saying? So. It's not too bad $700 a month for a car like this, you feel me? At first it was high because, you know, first time purchasing this, uh, like, you know, a car, especially that price. Um, so it was a little higher, but um, if you stick it out and you just make it happen, uh, in the long run, it's just gonna help you. So now, if I, once I wanna, you know, change car, get a new car, it will be a lot easier for me because I have this car as history. So, yeah, $700 a month is what I pay for my beautiful BMW for 40,000, you know what I'm saying? So if you guys are looking into getting a BMW, um, you guys can always reach out to me or any car really. You, you guys can just reach out to me on Instagram because I do work with a, uh, with a dealer that finds cars for people. So if you guys are in New York or you know stuff like that, hit me up and you're, if you're in the market for a car, let me know, I'll help you find a car, the right car for you, good price, all that stuff. Man, it's not a sponsor or anything like that, but you know, my boy, he works at the dealer and I just figure I'll help him out, you know, getting him some sales and stuff like that. So, so yeah, that's pretty much what I do, guys, man. $700 a month is what I pay for this car. Now, obviously not including, including maintenance, but honestly, guys, you don't really do that many maintenance on this car. I don't know what people are talking about that is super expensive. I mean, it is expensive once you do it, but like, you don't do it that often, bro, to be honest. Like, these cars, especially this, the B58 engine, is so reliable that you barely have to do anything to this thing, bro, besides the oil change. But if you guys watch my video, I even teach you how to do that. So you don't even got to pay anybody to do it for you. You can just go save a ton of money, get all the things you need, and pretty much just change the oil yourself. And you should be good to go. You know what I'm saying? Unless something breaks crazy, then okay. I don't know what to tell you about that. But knock on wood, that, has ha that hasn't happened to me yet. But, um, yeah, you guys, that is pretty much it for my beautiful BMW 440,000. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure you drop a big thumbs up in the, what am I saying? Just, just like the video, bro, okay? Um, comment down below any other videos you guys want to see. Any questions you guys have, let me know in the comment section below. Um, I would really appreciate if you guys like the video, though, because YouTube said that you guys got to like the video and you guys got to subscribe. If not, they're going to, like, I don't know, take down my YouTube channel. That's what they said, you know what I'm saying? I'm just relaying it to you guys. But um, with that being said, guys, I love you guys so much. Man. I appreciate every single one of you guys. I'm staying consistent, working hard for you guys, and I'm going to just keep doing what I'm doing. And with that being said, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace.